Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 15th, okay? Whoops. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. I do have a few more slots open for private readings. Once those slots are filled up, I probably won't be offering private readings for a while, I don't believe. So if you want a slot, I would suggest you get it now. Anyhow, uh, the link is in my community section. So anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message for right around the 15th? Four of Cups. I feel like we have somebody here that's just not interested. They're not interested in something. They've lost interest. Five of Cups in the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So Five of Cups is sadness, grieving over loss, crying over the spilled milk when there's another opportunity that is being missed. There is an opportunity that is being missed. We have an unfortunate loss here, setback, bad news. Um, clinging, resisting, clinging to control, resisting change. So somebody is in a, a place of resistance right now. Uh, they are destined to go in a new direction or this card wouldn't be here, but they're still, this is kind of like moping, uh, grief, right? There's some sort of loss and can't get over it, having a hard time moving on. So somebody's having a hard time moving on from some sort of loss. They are either missing an opportunity, they're probably not interested in it. It's like there's an opportunity here. Um, that is being ignored. It's being ignored because this person is so focused on something else. Somebody's not listening as well. It feels like their intuition is talking to them, but they're not listening to it. Ooh, well, look at that. That's a clarifier right there. That's not listening to the intuition. It's not. Um, Queen of Cups reverse can be sadness, tears, um, rejection, emotional withdrawal, emotional shutdown. Um, I hear you. Six of Cups. A lot of reminiscing, uh, nostalgia, thinking about the past, focused on the past, uh, romanticizing the past. We do have somebody here that is, is really struggling to manage their feelings. Page of cups. We have a lot of cups here. All cups. I wonder if somebody's drinking. You know, there could be a lot of drinking going on and it's bringing up a lot of feelings. I don't know where that's coming from, but drinking. I just saw all these cups. I'm definitely dealing with a water energy. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, really in the feelings. Somebody is acting on their feelings. They can't manage their feelings right now or they're just totally withdrawing. Really reminiscing, really in, in their feelings about something that they're struggling to move on from, from the past. There is an opportunity here. The Page of Cups is typically, you know, it could be a new interest, a new love interest. It could be an opportunity for love. But we have somebody here that probably can't see it or they're, they may be in some sort of state of illusion as well. Something to do with drinking as well. Drinking's, drinking will really bring up the emotions. I wonder if somebody's drinking in their... They're extremely sensitive at this time. It does feel like it's a sensitive energy. Nope. Oh, two of cups reverse. Definitely dealing with those cups now, or, or water energy. Two of cups reverse is detaching, um, separating, or a separation, disharmony in a union. There's no unity. So I feel like we have somebody here that is probably. They have an opportunity that they are missing, but they may, they're ju just stuck in the past. Stuck on something that has happened in the past. Can't get it out of their head. Two 
two of cups reverse this is this is a this is typically a messenger it's news it's typically news of a separation a breakup i don't know I, maybe we have somebody here that is really still crying over the loss because of that five of cups really in their feelings somebody's really struggling with their emotions right now on the bottom of the deck we have justice reversed which is an injustice unfair treatment indecision disharmony imbalance could be some bad karma here deception not being wanted want not being held accountable not wanting to be held accountable Somebody's lying, not telling the truth. There's a lack of integrity. Somebody's, and maybe somebody's just not, they're not being honest with themselves. Somebody's not being honest with themselves. Now, justice reverse is typically, it can be a legal loss or a decision that doesn't go in somebody's favor. This is unfair. There's some. There could be a loss here, and I. And it may be unfair. It may be unfair. Ooh, Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Now the Ten of Pentacles reversed is uh, complete ruin, right? It is. It's. Uh, uncomfortable living situation uncomfortable home unstable business or family life could be um, unstable foundation if somebody here that is reminiscing they are reminiscing for sure romanticizing they're really in their feelings ten of cup or ten of pentacles reverse is unstable business or family life complete loss it is a complete loss of a partnership a union and maybe i'm not sure there could be some sort of alcohol involved or we just have somebody that's emotionally unavailable because a previous partnership that didn't last it didn't last you know that's not lasting somebody may be missing an, or ignoring an opportunity with somebody because maybe they they just can't get over it anyhow the knight of cups is typically somebody that is very uh given to act on feelings listen to the heart listen to the intuition somebody may be going somewhere because knights move they go places you know they they take action so somebody is going to be acting on their feelings they're really in their feelings wow Oh my goodness gracious. Ace of Cups reversed is tears, sadness, right next to the Queen of Cups reversed. There could be some sad news that is coming, and I do apologize. We had the Wheel of Fortune reversed uh, in the cut, which is an unpredictable, horrendous loss. Um, this is definitely tears, emotions all over the place, um, over a separation or a detachment, or there could just be... You know, we, we may have somebody here that's fighting over money or they're not they're in a disagreement over the home or the money or the finances or is there somebody's dealing with somebody from the past. Either way, there's definitely some sort of sadness here. And we have an individual that needs to master their emotions and they need to get moving. They need to turn their back. They need to leave the past behind, right? They need to leave the past loss behind. It is time to leave it behind. Stop focusing on what is gone. Ten of Wands reversed is a release. It is making a conscious change to release. This could be a collapse. Okay, um, collapse of an empire. Ten of Wands reversed is 
dropping weight, dropping a burden, letting something go from the past. Somebody needs to let something go. It is a partnership that was not compatible, that they were literally in love with, maybe infatuated. I feel like we have somebody here that is needing really to master their emotions and drop something. They need to drop something that they are holding on to. It could just be a grudge. It could be a burden from the past. It could be heavy weight from the past. It's something to do with the past that they need to drop, that they need to let go of. There is going to be a release. It is a huge loss. This is a, it is. Now we've had three tens, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Tens are completion. So completion, completion, completion. We, and, and all of them are reversed. There's been a delay. There's been delays, but there is an unpredictable loss here. And I think that we have somebody here that there's been a prolonged grief and there's a need to move on. Ah, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now, move on. This is move on. Now, the Queen of Pentacles reversed is somebody that typically goes within to focus on oneself, to focus on one's value, to focus on one's worth that may, you know, need to stabilize oneself. So I feel like we have somebody here that needs to... Uh, withdraw from focusing on the past and focus on their self-value, focus on their self-worth, focus on, you know, nurturing themselves. I feel like we have somebody here that has been giving too much of themselves to a relationship or a partnership or to an unrequited love situation and they need to focus on themselves. Stop focusing, stop, repeat, stop, stop repeating the past mistakes as well. I do feel like we have a rejection here. I feel like we have somebody here that is being rejected. And maybe it's because there's a need to uh, love yourself. I do believe there, that we have somebody here that is receiving an offer. But... I feel like whoever is receiving the offer is not going to give back. There's nothing, doesn't want to give. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is like, I'm not, I'm holding on, I'm not giving. I'm not giving. I'm going to give to myself. And with the Queen of Cups reverse, we have somebody here that, you know, has been giving too much of themselves, taking care of everybody else but themselves. It's time to focus on yourself, Right? complete loss there could be there's moving on from an insecure situation that is no longer comfortable that has really weighed one down it is a partnership there's no the love is gone the love is gone I mean that's what it looks like to me. Moving on, moving away from some sort of uncomfortable situation that has been heavy to carry or hold on to. It's been overwhelming. There's no, there's a one-sidedness here. It's unrequited love. the sun now the sun is a beautiful new day it's a breakthrough it's enlightenment it's a yes answer it's clarity seeing something clearly somebody's getting some sort of clarity this is like seeing the light Listening to the intuition. I also, because this is very, I feel like there's somebody here whose intuition is really clearly telling them to refocus. 
somebody's also going to a better place traveling to a better place. They're making a conscious change to let go of whatever is holding them down that they've been holding on to from the past because of the memories. This is beautiful. It is. It really is. When you can find your inner strength to let go of things from the past that no longer, that can't, that are burdens to you, that hold you down, that is nothing but baggage that doesn't support you, or that you don't see eye to eye with, that is true strength. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is goodbye. Eight of Cups is goodbye dissatisfaction right headed towards happiness even though the road is ahead is unclear you know there's an unclear and difficult path ahead but facing the fears so i do believe that we have somebody here that is going to be going down a new path it's like they're transitioning my queen of pentacles reversed i wonder if we have somebody here that really needs to I want to say refocus. What is this Queen of Pentacles reversed? They need to ground themselves. They need to put in effort. They need to know that they need to focus on their value. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Three of Wands reversed. Now, three of Wands reversed is lack of foresight. It is missing an opportunity. Somebody is definitely missing an opportunity. <laughs> Yes, sir. Somebody is definitely missing an opportunity because maybe it's stubbornness. The Queen of Pentacles reversed can be extremely stubborn. Um, Three of Wands reversed. Not seeing something. Somebody is missing something. They are. We see, we see it right from the very beginning. And that is missing something as well. There's delays. There's some sort of delay. It's like they, they they can't go back. There's you can't go back. You can't go back. So it's very interesting. Clinging to the memories of the past. Three of Wands reversed. Missing an opportunity. The opportunity is slipping away. It's going away, or it's being pushed away. This is goodbye. Maybe it's not time to step into unknown. Maybe it's time to refocus on yourself. We definitely have indecision here. We have it with the justice reverse that we had and the three of wands reverse is indecision as well. It's like... We have somebody here that is going back and forth with a decision. They need to they need to stop. They need to listen to their heart, open their heart. Walk away from anything that is baggage from the past. Somebody's definitely holding on. They need to make a conscious change, a healthy change. Sun is healthy. Focus on your emotional health. Somebody needs to focus on their emotional health. Somebody's been wasting time. Holding on to that grudge, baggage, burden. Trying to prove a point. Maybe trying to prove something to themselves. There's been a lack of self-love here. Gave too much of themselves to a partnership. 
but this is a light bulb moment, right? It is seeing the light. This is moving, going somewhere. Somebody is definitely going somewhere. There has been some sort of delay, or there is some sort of delay because of that Three of Wands reversed. Oh, Ten of Swords reversed. This is beginning to heal, though. The Ten of Swords reversed is the worst has happened, but now it's over. Stop wasting your time. Focus on the future. We have somebody here that is really ungrounded, and they really need to focus on their future. Focus on the future. The future looks bright. There's an opportunity here. That Knight of Cups is typically somebody that's looking for love. This is, and it's a new day, right? It's a new beginning. So there's, I feel like there's, we have somebody here that has a new opportunity for love, but they are so stuck. Wheel of Fortune reverse, Six of Cups on the past. What happened in the past that just about killed them? But what happened brought them through a period of awakening, right? Of spiritual enlightenment. And it happened to teach them their value and teach them their worth. And maybe they don't see that. Anyhow. Another 10. Okay, so we have four 10s now because we had the Wheel of Fortune. So completion, 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 completion. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been betrayal. It, but I feel like it's over and you, it's time to focus on the future, right? This that, that phase is over. That cycle is over. That partnership is over. Whatever that partnership is. This is releasing a partnership. It's letting go. Complete loss. But this loss, which is a huge one, by the way, it may be uncomfortable. This loss brings emotional happiness. It brings bliss. It, it brings emotional fulfillment. When you let it go, you will have emotional fulfillment. But you really have to focus on yourself. You have to go inward. It's time to nurture yourself. It's time to go. You know, that Six of Swords is move on. Eight of Cups is goodbye. It's a necessary alteration. It's a healing energy. Really, it is. It is healing. It's, a, it's healing from some sort of betrayal. It is. It's time to heal and just refocus ground yourself i would say that you know it's time to move on but it's not time to leap into anything that isn't completely clear from the beginning Oh my goodness gracious, we should just stop right now. The world card reverse, that is unfinished business, right? Lack of closure, could be a, somebody leaving without saying goodbye, maybe not getting any closure. The minute somebody walks away, that's your closure. People don't want to accept it though because they want to have that one more conversation and that one more conversation and that one more conversation. It's all just a cop out. Anyhow, the world card reversed unsuccessful resisting staying stuck in the present somebody is really stuck they're really 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 stuck in a place where they're not having success they're not having any success they're still they're still flogging that dead horse right There is delayed success. There is. Maybe it's karma. We did have justice reversed. You know, when you don't act with integrity, karma is going to take away your abundance. Absolutely.
We also had the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and then we had Justice reversed. Those are both bad karma, bad luck. Somebody's been experiencing setbacks and bad luck and delays and happiness because of their... past, obviously. Poor decisions, justice reversed. What goes around comes around, right? Anyhow, the world card reversed is... A lack of success failed to achieve stuck stuck somebody is really stuck to something that they completely need to walk away from somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye I got to be honest you may not see it coming this could be a sudden ending I mean, I hate to say that, but it certainly could be. I feel like there's some emotional news that is coming. It's or something. Somebody's just really in their emotions. They can't control their emotions. Emotions out definitely. Chariot reverse. Now, chariot reverse. Chariot is a vehicle. So it could be a vehicle that's coming to a halt. Something's coming to a stop. This is a dead stop. Emotions all over the place. There's the clarification. That is scattered emotions. Can't manage them. Lack of discipline. Lack of willpower. Out of control. Something's out of control. Somebody cannot control themselves. Then they need to find their discipline. They need to find their strength. To stop going backwards. Stop going backwards. Refocus. Stop self-sabotaging yourself. Stop hurting yourself. If there's no success, you have to walk away. You have to find your strength and your willpower to walk away. Damn, damn. Last card. This is coming to a halt. Something is coming to a halt. This is unsuccessful uh, completion. Not learning a lesson. Not learning from mistakes. The world card reversed. We have somebody here that is not learning. They're not learning. They keep repeating. Maybe it's because they don't know their value. Or they haven't taken the time to focus on themselves. Last card. Oh, God. The death card. So death is the end, right? It is the end. It's over. This is the end. Death is permanent. It's a separation. Loss. That leads to a new life. So endings and new beginnings here. This is the end of one life and the beginning of another. I mean, I can't make that up. That is a separation. This is a transition. We have a transition here as well. This is a card of transformation. It's over. There's something big that is over. You don't see it. It's over. We have somebody that really hasn't doesn't see it. It's completely over. Somebody could literally be leaving without saying goodbye. Just being honest. Death is the end, okay? It is the end. It's a final. Death is final. But endings always lead to new beginnings. And there could be some emotional support here as well with that Knight of Cups. This is, there's, there's something that is happening that is unforeseen. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. We do have a release. There's definitely a release here. There's freedom from suffering. We do have a new beginning. That sun is a new beginning. Good luck.